Today, we're going to be designing some podcast cover art. We're calling it Coffee Chats. Let's mm-hmm. start with picking some fonts. Go on to Adobe Fonts to look at some Ooh. different options. Mm-hmm. I found this font called Fairwater Script that I want to use. I already downloaded it. I'm going to start by drawing a little diagonal line here and using the Type on a Path tool. Coffee. Go into Fairwater Script Regular. Ooh, okay, isn't I like that, that so cute? It's going to option click and drag to duplicate that. And the fun thing about this font that I really like is it has really cute glyphs. So lots yeah. of different swashes I love and fun that. things. As you can see, I literally just highlighted the C and then all these options will pop up Ooh. if a font has glyphs. I kind of like this one. That's mm. fun. Love this C too. And I want to switch this H. You can see that these letters are already mm-hmm. starting to go in and out of each other. Yep. I want to intertwine them even mm. more. Select all this type, mm. and we need to start off by creating outlines. Mm-hmm. So this will basically turn it from live text to vectors. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going ahead and ungroup this, and I just want to create a little bit of a larger gap here with the C. The biggest tip I have for the intertwine tool is make sure that things are different colors mm-hmm. so you can make sure that the effect is working. Okay, so now that I have all of these different colors, I'm going Mm -hmm. to select the letters that I want to apply the intertwine effect to. Okay. And now we're going to go to Object, Mm -hmm. Intertwine, and Make. Mm -hmm. So I want, for example, this H to look like it's going underneath the C and then coming out the top. Okay. So literally all I have to do is click that and then you can Uh see the effect start to apply. And then Mm -hmm. I'll do it again here. Now we're going to add some highlights and shadows to this. I'm gonna draw lines right here and right here. All right, so I selected those two line segments Mm -hmm. that I drew and the letter C, and I'm going to go to the Pathfinder tool and divide this. And I'm going to ungroup this. And so you see when I ungroup it, this is how the divide tool works. Okay, so (laughs) now we're going to use this gradient tool right Mm. here. Freeform gradient gives you the most control and allows you to add different points and more colors. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna click on that. So you see I have two points here and I want to add a third one in the middle. So I'm going to change those to the base gray color and you can already see when I zoom in, Very it's cool. pretty seamless. Yeah. So I'm just <laughs> repeating that with all the letters. Mm-hmm. So drum roll please. Ta-da! Ooh. Okay, isn't this kind of fun? That is so cool. Yeah, I kind of want this to look 3D. <laughs> so you can see that I just made a copy mm-hmm. over here. And what I'm going to do here is use the blend tool. I am going to click this top gray layer Mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna click option and then a plus button will appear when I hover over the bottom layer Mm -hmm. and click that. So I double clicked into this and you can see my top and bottom layers are still here. Mm -hmm. And so then I can just start moving that around. I kind of like that. Group this up here, Mm -hmm. option, drag it down. We want to line this up on top. Command Y is my best friend. I use that That all the time. This will turn all of your artwork into an outline mode so you Mm -hmm. can get that pixel perfect Ah. snap. So I was thinking this kind of liquidy like blob shape could kind of look like a coffee spill. Once this is all said and done, I also applied a very subtle gradient here. And then these shapes that I use just kind of spread out throughout. Um, the composition I felt like were kind of fun. I was thinking like sparking that. conversation. Yeah. And also, who doesn't like sparkles? <laughs> I think we're ready for color. Adobe Color is such a great tool. It's literally oh, just color.adobe.com. Yes. Mm-hmm. You can go and look at trends in curated color palettes. Yep. There's all kinds of fun ones. And then I ended up picking this right here. And so I selected the pink and the navy from there. And then all I have to do is click add to my library Mm -hmm. and then it'll pop up in Illustrator and Photoshop and Express. It's all connected. It's all connected. connected. I want to keep all these assets in one central place. So I have Express pulled up here. And if you go into your stuff in brands, you can see that you can build out your entire brand kit yeah. here. Said maybe let's do an episode announcement. Mm-hmm. Let's do an Instagram square post. I want to switch the background color. Coffee chats. All These right are there. all my colors. Yep. And then I can go back to your stuff, brands and libraries. And then I can just drag Pop and drop my logo. And then I can add in some text. New episode. Bring in this. And then let's bring in some of my other fun little elements. So all I had to do was select this little graphic element here 
and click animation and then there's three different types of categories mm -hmm. and in transition and out transition but in this case i want it just continuous a on a loop yeah pulsing and i feel like kind of looks like oh, the sparkles the yeah. shimmers i can edit the timeline <laughs> down here so maybe it's only let's say like three seconds right Perfect. Wow, so you, you created a podcast cover. Yes. Then you created just a little social media graphic yes. for it. Emma. We crushed it you, today. Uh, High you five. crushed it. I didn't do anything. Oh my gosh. You're <laughs> I my just enjoyed. Woman. I hope you all had a ton yes. of fun. And yes. thanks so much for joining us Thank for this you guys. segment. Bye. Bye.